Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling well. It's a rainy one today and that's what this vlog is all about. How am I, how are me and my lass going to keep ourselves dry during the West Highland Way? So it's easy to think about the best case scenarios when you're out hiking and uh, the sun shining, everything being idyllic. Now here in West Yorkshire, we are accustomed to the rain. We get plenty of that. In the West Highlands of Scotland, the weather can be notoriously um, unpredictable. And I've seen it in some of your vlogs, fantastic vlogs, been watching all the West Highland Way vlogs, trying to pick up some tips, and I definitely have. And uh, yeah, unpredictable weather in the West Highlands of Scotland. And uh, I can see that sometimes that rain can set in for a few days. So if we get weather like this, <laughs> like this, look at this. If, if we get weather like this for a few days, then me and my lass are going to be soaking wet. And even the best, the most expensive, breathable uh, waterproof jackets are eventually going to wet out. And, uh, and in some cases, it will even come through. My boots, <laughs> my, uh, my fantastic boots, they will eventually uh, become saturated. So, uh, so what should we do? Wet and windy weather, what's your advice? Should I take shelter? Should I find shelter as soon as possible? Maybe even pitch the tent and get inside that. Or should I just accept that I'm going to get wet, soaking wet, walk in the rain and, uh, and embrace it, embrace the rain and enjoy it. Trousers, what about trousers? Waterproof or lightweight, quick drying trousers, or should I take a pair of both? I'm trying to keep the pack weight as light as possible, so I want to choose one or the other. So your advice, uh, what do you think? Pair of uh, waterproof trousers or just the quick drying trousers? And again, just accept the fact that I'm gonna get wet. Now in some locations, hiking in the rain, the wet and the wind, can be very dangerous. Visibility is not too good and it's of course very slippy underfoot. And I have heard, I have seen in your fantastic videos on the West Highland Way, there is a section that is particularly dangerous in the wet. So uh, I'll have to be watching out for that one. So I have been doing some research on, uh, on waterproof clothing and uh, thinking I can keep myself absolutely dry, 100% dry. And uh, I was just about to uh, press the buy now <laughs> On, uh, on two jackets, one for me and one for my last identical, the top of the range Gore-Tex jacket. And uh, then I realized that my expectations were way too high of that jacket. So if it rains for multiple days on the trot, am I really putting on my wet clothing again? Yes, according to you experts, that's what you do. You just put your wet clothing back on and uh, keep that dry set of clothing for the end of the day to make you feel comfortable um, at the end of a long rainy hike. So your expectations have to be correct on this sort of clothing. And uh, I'm right now I'm wearing the North Face, just a, a middle of the range uh, waterproof jacket with the old Event fabric. And uh, that will keep me dry. I've, uh, I've waterproofed it with the Nick wax and that'll keep me dry for a certain period. And while I'm hiking, it'll obviously get wet on the inside if I'm sweating. So there's no way around these things. It's a bit of a balance, that's what I found out. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it is a balance between how much you're getting wet by your own body, um, sweating inside these, uh, these jackets, because once they, what they call wet out, it's no longer breathable. So then if you're sweating, uh, you, you just take the jacket off. So I think you will be aware now of where I am at with this. Yes, I will be walking in the rain. So will my lass. We will just accept the fact that we're going to get wet. Another thing, how will I even vlog while doing the West Highland Way? How will I vlog in this weather? Well, I'm doing it now and I'm finding it a lot easier because of this purchase of the uh, Helicon uh, chest rig. Have you ever found when you're backpacking, especially in weather like this, You've got to take your backpack off to get to your camera just to start vlogging or doing a bit of photography. Uh, so uh, really annoying. You can't just keep taking your backpack off 
to, uh, to document your journey. Not even just for vlogging, if you needed uh, a compass, your GPS, or any other uh, essential items that you might... Um, if you've been struggling with that, then you need a chest rig just like this one. This is the Helicon uh, chest rig, and uh, it's absolutely brilliant. So let's have a little look at, uh, at this chest rig, because it's, it's changed my experience of uh, backpacking and vlogging at the same time. And hopefully, if it's waterproof enough, I don't know about how waterproof this thing is, and we're walking into the rain right now, deliberately, so that uh, when I get back home, I can report back and tell you whether this thing is waterproof. It's the least I would expect from something like this, from Helicon, that it is actually uh, waterproof. But the uh, proof is in the pudding. So, Let's have a look at it. So thanks to this chest rig by Helicon, you can have all your essentials just in this, uh, this little pouch in front of you. It is quite small, but you're only keeping your essentials in there. I can fit in my GoPro Hero 9 with a uh, power handle and all the batteries and, uh, and a little, uh, little tripod in there as well. A pair of sunglasses, <laughs> won't be wearing them today, and, uh, and my mobile phone. That's about it with uh, plenty of room to, to move things around. And of course, my, uh, <laughs> my cloth to keep the lens dry and clean. And I'm glad that I've got that today. So it's got uh, a couple of pockets on the outside, stretchy pockets that you can put in uh, wrappers from a uh, uh, trekking bar. I'm gonna have one of them in a minute. Uh, yeah, you can keep a bit of litter in there or uh, lens caps. And, uh, and other little items that uh, you can just stuff in there. So what's it made of? Is it waterproof? Well, it's made of 500D Cordura fabric. What is that? Now, Cordura is a multiple fibre fabric and it's very strong, very resilient, and it's used by the military and used by a lot of uh, outdoor bag manufacturers because it's so durable. Is it waterproof? I'm not too sure if the fabric is actually waterproof, but I'm hoping that Helicon have built something into this that uh, keeps it waterproof. It's gonna be interesting when I get back because it's actually soaking wet now. Of course, I can treat this with Nick Wax. There's no harm in doing that, spraying it with some uh, kind of waterproofing just to help it. But we're seeing today if it's going to be waterproof straight out of the bag or straight in the bag, maybe. Maybe that's the phrase. It's got an elasticated part at the bottom that you can fasten up. Now, I have seen some comments on how short that uh, little bungee is at the bottom, and it is pretty short, and it restricts the thickness of the bag, the bag sort of opening up. So uh, I've taken mine off, and it makes the, the bag a little bit easier to use for, for my purposes. But uh, if you need that to maybe slip a tripod in or a torch, something like that, um, then uh, just fix up a longer bungee cord, and it should work fine. My expectations were correct on this and uh, so far I found it to be really good but definitely take out that detachable section. It's almost as though they knew it was useless because it's detachable. Take that out, throw it away. So it's really minimalistic which is what I wanted, just something on my chest to access my gear. It fits just with this like ha mesh harness around your back, it's really comfortable and easy to get in and out of. And I hope you can see that it works really well with the rucksack. It's still comfortable, even though I'm wearing it with the rucksack over. <laughs> well, it's trying to stop raining now, and uh, I've reached the end of this vlog, almost back to the dry car. <laughs> hope you've enjoyed this rainy vlog. That's it for this one. Just a little chat about walking in the rain. I could do with some advice. If you can pick out any advice to give me from this vlog, I would much appreciate it for the West Highland Way. And uh, a little look at the Helicon chest rig, which I think is going to really, uh, really do me proud on the West Highland Way so that I can bring you my vlog, my version, my experience of the West Highland Way. So if you've enjoyed this vlog, give me a like, consider subscribing. I'm doing the West Island Way in September this year, 2021. That is coming around pretty quick. Until the next one, bye.